I'm Joe Chilio for NJ Sports Now on this Thursday, November the 6th. It's not a Major League Baseball offseason. It's not the hot stove without some sort of headline revolving around Alex Rodriguez. And yesterday, the news came down out of the Miami Herald that last January, A-Rod admitted to DEA agents that he did, in fact, use the performance-enhancing drugs he was accused of after going really scorched earth uh, against Major League Baseball in his fight to reverse his year-long suspension. That didn't work. He sat out the entire 2014 season, and now the reports come out that he is working out like a fiend in preparation for 2015 to come back and help the Yankees. And as soon as you hear A-Rod lying, steroids, people get on their high horse, and they start screaming and yelling about how much they hate Alex Rodriguez and the kind of player and, and the kind of person he's been throughout his career. A-Rod has been a liar. A-Rod has been a cheat. And, and obviously last year he paid for it in, in the form of a full year suspension. And now that he's reinstated and now that he's back, I'm sure fans are disgusted about watching A-Rod play and him coming back and being part of the Yankees here in 2015. But one thing is always held true when it's come to A-Rod's career or any other performance-enhancing drug user. And that is if you hit, or in the case of a pitcher, if you pitch, if you perform well on the field, you will be forgiven. Maybe not long term, maybe not 20 years from now. They won't throw parades for Alex Rodriguez. But you look up at what the 2015 Yankees are trying to be, what they could be, and what they weren't in the year A-Rod was out. And A-Rod can clearly still be a help to this team. And you look back to 2009, where earlier in the same season, A-Rod admitted to using steroids, admitted to being a past steroid user, and uh, part of the reason he had the biggest contract in the sport was because of the numbers he put up using performance-enhancing drugs. The Yankees say they didn't know. They have obviously traded for him and kept him and re-signed him throughout all those years, and he admitted to it. And yet, later that year, A-Rod had one of the great postseasons you'll ever see. The Yankees won a world championship, and for a, a fleeting moment, he was revered. We fast forward to now, going into the 2015 season. If Alex Rodriguez hits, he will be forgiven. That's always the way it works with fans, always the way it works in sports. You look up at the Yankees last year, and you look at what A-Rod did in his last year before the suspension. So at the end of the 2013 season, he came back from hip injury, and, and he obviously was not the player he used to be, where, I mean, the guy has a career 940-plus OPS, over 650 home runs. But just look at what A-Rod did in 2013 in limited time. He had a 771 OPS. If you took those numbers, that number, and put it on the 2014 team, it would rank number one. A-Rod still, a diminished older A-Rod, who's going to be 39 going into his age 40 season before 2015 is all done, he would still have led the Yankees last year in OPS. His 2013 OPS of 771, higher than any regular player put forth last year. And what did the Yankees need more than anything last season? They needed offense. And as A-Rod comes back here, if he can provide that offense, he will be forgiven. Maybe not in the long term, but in the short term. He's a liar, he's a cheater, and he's a fraud. I know all the words you like to use about him, and a lot of them it's hard to argue against. But Alex Rodriguez, when he steps foot on the field in spring training and then opening day and then moving forward for the 2015 Yankees, if he can play a little third base, a little first base, DH, and hit anything close to the way he did in 2013, he will get more cheers than booze in the Bronx. I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports.